Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. Now in today's lesson, we're going to look at how to save and run scripts, SQL scripts. Let me start by opening a new terminal and then I'll try to connect to the database. Okay, so the database is open. Now I want to run a very simple query, okay? Something like select five from dual. Okay, dual is just um, a dummy table, okay? I'll execute and then I have the output as five. Now I'll do this save tests.sql. And then you can see created file test. SQL, but where is this file located? Let me quickly open this home directory and then you can see it's here, it's saved here in the Oracle users home directory. That's where you can find the file test.sql. So I'll close this. Now, assuming I want to rerun this query, how do I call it up? Very simple, at test.sql. And then we have the output. So assuming this was a complex query, for instance, after your output, just save the query as a script, and then you can rerun the query just by typing at whatever the name of the script is. So let me show you another example. I'll quickly exit this, and then I'll change directory to the desktop, this very desktop you are seeing. Now I'm going to connect again to the database and then execute the same query. Select five from dual and then say save test.sql. So you can see the location of the file is on the desktop, okay, because I actually changed my directory to the desktop. Now, to run is just to type at test.sql, and I have my output again. Now, the final example I want to show you on this, let me exit this. Assuming you're not in the SQL environment, you can actually try to connect and run the script simultaneously by issuing the simple command SQL plus sys slash password. This is not my real database password, please. At O-R-O-C-L space at test.sql. Now, if I execute this, it will give me an error because this is not my real password. I am just showing you the syntax on how to connect as well as run the scripts. Okay, so in your own testing environment, you can try it using your own password and then running the script. You see that it will work perfectly. So guys, thank you for listening to this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.